hey loves and welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog y'all so it is 5 32 and i am basically about to head out y'all um oh well I've, I've never showed you guys but i ended up getting these lamps from ross um last year and i actually want to take them back i came to the realization that i don't want the lamps um and i might not use them for my bedroom either so i think i want to take those back tonight um also i was just over here eat my salad y'all why is the salad so good <laughs> the salad is so good y'all it is so good and then also y'all um remember i said i had wanted some more dressing let me put y'all on to this dressing because it's so good and comment let me know if y'all ever had it before but y'all i ended up going to kroger's last night and it's funny because this is the exact caesar dressing that goes on my caesar salads when i be at panera but I found this dressing at Kroger's last night, y'all. I don't know if they got avocado in here or not. But it tastes like it. Yeah, this is really good. But highly recommend 10 out of 10. And it's the um, Panera Caesar dressing. So I um, end up trying this on my salad because remember I said I had one like some different dressing besides like ranch. So I tried that. And then y'all also we have a package right here from Amazon. I did order me a new synthetic unit. Girl, I don't know what it is, but I am just into these synthetic units. If you guys don't know, my last vlog um, where you guys was like liking the short little hair. That was the long hair at first, but it was a synthetic unit by the same brand. And I ended up cutting it as the um, ends had started to get like real rugged because it is synthetic. So I did go ahead and order another one um, to wear Friday when I go on a date Friday. Um, and I'm excited. So we're going to open this up. And I'll just kind of just show y'all like how I look. But I think this one is actually a little longer. Um, than my other one. But... I am going to wear this Friday. I just wanted like some everyday hair. Um, but it is the What Lace Collection by Sensational. Shout out to Sensational. Um, they should be sponsoring my video. But <laughs> um, I ended up getting this What Lace. Um, and this is actually the brand, y'all, of Sensational of the short hair that you guys see me in a blog with last time that I had cut. But y'all, what I love about this um, What Lace, y'all, is that it has like a natural density and but then also it's giving like a human hair type of like y'all see that it's like a human hair like kind of lace and it looks real natural this is the look and y'all know i love a good yeah y'all know i love a good like middle part bust down sad part whatever but um i'm excited i wanted my sister actually i'm actually i'm, I'm about to call her in a minute um i want my sister to kind of pluck the lace a little bit so it can look even more natural but i'm really excited because i'm wearing this this week and i may cut it i know i'm gonna cut it because as you guys can see it's super long but this is the hd lace um keep them guessing so yeah i'm excited for this super excited and i got it in the color b and it's by the brand sensational and they have a ton of other um colors and then styles as well sensational been around for a while but they um what lace collection hairline illusion lace wigs are really good and it's the cloud nine swiss lace wig so yeah so we got this wig right here um from amazon also i want to surprise you guys with something tomorrow um that you guys <laughs> been want me to get <laughs> y'all been want me to get so bad and i finally got some and i'm excited y'all because um i was gonna buy some from amazon but i'm actually glad that i didn't because i feel like the ones that i got actually kind of look better and they wasn't as much but yeah we're about to go ahead and head out and head to ross um i want to return these lamps actually i can just go ahead and show y'all real quick so y'all this is the lamps that i'm going to return it's just like a really cute like kind of like chic lamp um and the original price on these was like 26 27 dollars and I got two of these, so I'm going to take these back to Ross. Like I said, I, I had bought them for my living room. But I realized quickly that these are not going to match my living room whatsoever. Um, and I don't really want them in my room either. So I'm going to return these. I don't know where to see that, but I got the credit card. So they should... Um, I could really take a credit. But either either way, um, they should be able to get returned. And hopefully they don't try to discount it. Because y'all know sometimes these department stores will try to discount um, your price. But I think that's only when you don't have the receipt. 
or they can't look it up on your credit card i think but anyways these came from ross and i got two of these and this is actually what we're going to return so yeah and then my outfit that i'm wearing tonight i just have on my um black bodysuit from zara and i have on these um all black h&m leggings and i'm going to put on my uggs with my coat and we're going to head out y'all i literally just got out the shower and everything for today and the reason why my vlogs well my vlogs have been starting like a little bit in the evening y'all because my days be getting away to me like they be getting away from me really quickly and i think it's because it's like the um winter time so it get dark fairly quick when it's not even that late so right now the time is 5 38 i'm about to go ahead and finish my salad put my little clothes and stuff um and my shoes and stuff on and i'll catch y'all in a minute service channel hold on i'll be right there are they on sale right now no uh <laughs> yeah are they all right there you go thank you dear of course oh scared me <laughs> so y'all we are sad ross and for some reason, my credit cards that I was giving her did not come up with the receipt. That is so weird to me. But, so I basically had to take like $10 less, like whatever. Um, but we in here now, and they got a couple of cute items. Um, it's like a lot of glam stuff in here, so I'm going to look for more like my style stuff and see if they actually got it. But, um, I love Ross though. They be having some cute little stuff, but I'll show y'all some stuff that they got in here real quick. And they definitely putting up their spring decor for sure. I have not been in Ross. <laughs> no, we need. Um, but just looking at some of their pieces. Looks pretty. Over here, they got a ton of. Oh, them is pretty. They have a ton of that black, gold, and white. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna see what else they got. I was looking at these. I was like, oh, these are so pretty. They are gorgeous. It's pretty. Then I was over here and I just seen these and I was like, ooh. These are kind of cute. These are 15. Oh, that's a good deal. Those are 25. That's a good deal, too. Ooh. Now, I like this. Now, I like this. I might have to get this in my room. But that little red, I'm not feeling that red. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like, why is it red? But this is nice. And this is actually 30. But this could really go in my bedroom for real. I'm definitely not getting it like that. <laughs> that used to be me. <laughs> but this is really cute. But, like, why the red? I don't care for the red on here. these kind of cute too these are more like i feel like pictures like this would look better in like a like a vacation home or something i wouldn't put that in my house but this i would i hate that it got that red because the red is not mm -mm. um and then they have this one right here which is kind of bright um it's kind of cute but what's back here okay okay um this this is cute it's just is this black okay so the frame is black and what else is back here oh okay yeah my camera went dead but i just found this little like neck piece right here this is cute but it's giving like kind of gray what y'all think i think this is cute it's like 12 dollars i'm like this will probably go cute on my um focus this would probably go cute on my um, my shelf. Also, I found some meal prep containers, and they had these wine glasses for like three or four dollars. So yeah. Um, also, I seen this piece over here as well, and I was thinking this would go cute on my shelf too. It's like a cream color. That's a maybe. I ain't gonna lie. That's a maybe. But the credit is only 40 Because 
they took 10 off but let me show y'all the furniture that they got like i said you can tell that they're pretty much getting ready for springtime this is everything that they have over here they got a few little cute pieces when i say they don't went crazy with this black with this art like y'all this art right here i just feel like they went od with this like this is what i used to go crazy about and then they got this one right here now i was got these trash cans but honestly i seen this too this was a hundred dollars and this is like kind of like a nice little piece right here i thought this was really cute i'm gonna grab a couple of items and then i will catch you guys later Hey loves and welcome to a new day y'all. So I just got dressed and I just have on this cute um little um shirt. This is actually by what's that company? The same company who um where I get the dresses from. 
pull me it's like this dress and then i got on like this really cute skirt but y'all the perfume that i'm wearing today is the powdery orange flower which is inspired by valentino's voce viva so this is actually how it look this is actually by the brand dossier if you guys are not familiar with dossier dossier is a perfume company who sells luxury inspired scents and y'all if i'm being honest some of the scents is better than the original scents <laughs> so this smells really really good also you can get all their perfumes a fraction of the price and then also guys they have these magnetic tops that come on their perfumes and you get a nice amount this is actually a 50 milliliter ounce bottle which is so good and their scents are so luxury like i said before they literally smell just like the luxury scents and their scents is also made with the highest quality fragrances which i love which is out of france and they are based in new york as well i will have all their links down below they have all the luxury inspired scents that you guys can literally think of and they also sell candles now and they also sell room diffusers as well it smell so good but yeah love this scent this is actually the scent that i'm actually wearing today which is just such a powdery just feminine scent and i think it really goes with my outfit as well i highly recommend to check out dossier if you want some luxury inspired scents but for a fraction of the price and not any markups okay so i want to thank dossier for sponsoring this portion of today's video okay girl so let's go ahead and get into some things now y'all know we ended up going to ross yesterday right okay went to ross yesterday um got like a lot of random items but y'all they was marking down everything yesterday so pretty much half the stuff i had got was on a clearance um so the first thing i got which i don't think these was but these are still a really good price so the first thing i ended up getting is these um kitchen prep food eat store um meal prep containers y'all when i seen these i was like perfect okay lord you always be on my side but it is a, a 10 piece and i think it comes with five total this is how it looks and the price was only like $2.99 from Ross. So I ended up getting me some little meal prep containers to prep my food. Very excited for that, y'all, because I did not have any. So I'm actually really glad that I ended up getting some of that. Um, next, I ended up getting these. Oh, these were $6. <laughs> I end up getting this set of five makeup brushes. Now I have been like trying to look for like a new makeup brush to like put my concealer up under my eyes or whatever. So I did come across these makeup brushes from Ross and I think I want to use this one for my concealer. These were actually $5.99. Okay. But yeah, they had just like a, just a lot of little random stuff that I would just kind of, like I said, the credit was like 40 but I feel like I didn't have enough to buy like a big home decor piece. But I, I found like a little one home decor piece. But also I have this um, Russell and Windsor um, soap. This is in Jasmine and White Lily. Um, this is how it looks. This is just a little soap that I ended up getting for the bathroom. It's so cute. How cute is that? So I got this soap for the bathroom. Because I feel like I never have like a nice looking soap in the bathroom. It's either like, it's always like a white container or something. But I'm like, I want something in here that actually look cute. And then I end up getting this exfoliating body scrub. If you guys don't know, I do not use FUPAs anymore. Is that what they call? <laughs> Did I say FUPA? <laughs> Is that what they call? Wait. I think it's called FUPA. Y'all know like the little wash things that we normally use. Um, that we like scrub with, with like the little like um, liquid soap. Those. I don't use those anymore because they carry bacteria. So I have been using a dry brush to actually um, wash myself up. And y'all, I will say that the dry brushes, I feel definitely get me cleaner than the FUPAs. Because like, really when you think about it, the FUPAs just kind of wipe soap on us. But like when you actually like brushing your skin, it's actually getting you clean when you really think about it. So I've seen this exfoliating body sponge. So I want to try this. This came from Ross. This was, uh, I think this was like $4.00. This is a exfoliating body sponge and I wanted to try this because I have not tried nothing like this and it still kind of has like that texture. So I do have a brown dry brush um, in my shower now but I want to try this because it's like a little softer but I just want to try things that got texture in it and just like things that actually is going to like scrub my body instead of like wiping the soap around. So I got that. Now this is the home decor piece that I had got. I think I showed you guys yesterday. I ended up getting just the one. I didn't get the two. So I did go ahead and pick up this one. I just thought it was cute. And I think it will really go really nice um, on my shelf. So this is actually the home decor piece that I actually picked up. 
it's just like it looks like a lady and she's kind of crossing her legs so this is how it looks, and I think this is a really nice color and I also think this will go really cute on my shelf so this is how it looks. that's her legs and that's her crossing her legs and this is the other side and it's like this like stone like let's get a focus it's like this stone like material and it has like these like little specks in it real cute um i just thought it was real cute and i feel like it'll just go really cute on my shelf so that's how it look right there i just thought that was cute just like a nice little piece i don't never get pieces like this because y'all know this was not my style before i was actually a glam girl so i don't ever get stuff like this but i do think this is a nice piece to go on our black shelf obviously we got a black shelf so i'm I, so i'm definitely looking for like lighter pieces to actually brighten up the shelf so yeah so we got a cute little lady folding her legs you know what's funny y'all is that when i seen this <laughs> she immediately reminded me of how i was when i was little because I feel like when I was younger, like, I was kind of, like, always to myself. And I was, like, always kind of, like, protecting myself. So, this this sculpture really reminded me of, like, when I was little. Because I could just remember, like, just always, like, having to take care of myself. Like, I don't know. It just, I don't know. It just, it, it made me feel some type of way. <laughs> but that's the whole other story, girl. Um... Let me show y'all the last thing that I got. And y'all, y'all would not believe this last thing I got and how much it was. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but Ross um, was actually marking down their um, shoes yesterday. They was marking down their shoes yesterday. And they was like marking down just like a lot of stuff. And y'all, I found these really cute black boots. And it's by this brand called Call It Spring, which is like a pretty decent brand y'all why did why did they mark down these shoes right here these little black boots <laughs> they it's like it's like a little patent leather like um platform kind of boot super cute though why did they mark these down yesterday for $1.99 y'all I'm not even kidding look at this <laughs> look at this $1.99 are you kidding two dollars these are by far the cheapest shoes that i've ever bought even the goodwill shoes are like 5.99 almost ten dollars now because they're going up but y'all a nice pair of leather little platforms like this for two dollars are you kidding like i would never forget that i got shoes that's really cute and really high quality too if you ask me because college spring is a really nice brand um and they were actually marked down for two dollars i just cannot believe that so very happy with this purchase i'll show you guys how they look on because I feel like I tried them on yesterday with my leggings. But I feel like they look better when I don't have leggings. But they're super cute. Super, super cute. And I got these in a nine, And it was in my size. Like, girl, <laughs> when did we ever get a sale like this and it's actually in my size? So, I got these in the um, nine and a half. But, like, look how sexy that booty is. Like, what? Yeah. Stop playing. So, that's everything I ended up getting from Ross yesterday. I am over here about to... Prep this food for tonight. Now, we're not putting containers or anything right now. We're going to do that probably tonight. But I just want to take my food and stuff. And like, so, I'm going to find out, y'all. This grilled chicken, this is fully cooked chicken. This is fully cooked chicken, y'all. This how it look. It came from Sam's Club. And it says fully cooked chicken. So. Let me see. We're going to put like three of these in a bag. They fully cooked. So, I, I mean, I guess I don't have to put them in the water. I guess. Because they fully cooked. I think all I got to do is like cook them. Or like. I was still like. It says fully cooked. I would still put... Hold on. Yeah, I would still put these in the oven. So, I'm going to put these in the oven. And then, I got two pieces of salmon right here that I want to put um, probably in a little bag by itself. And then we also... Oh, 
And this is the salmon that we got right here from Sam's. And then I got the shrimp right here. But what I'm gonna do with the shrimp, y'all? The shrimp, this shrimp is huge too. The shrimp needs to be on thaw. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some shrimp. put some shrimp in the bag right there and also y'all what i'm gonna do now i do need to get some lemon we're actually going to head out to target but i want to get some lemon so the reason why i got this shrimp is because i want to put a few pieces and they are pretty big i want to put like maybe two or three pieces just like on the side of each meal one two three three six Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, I want to put a few pieces of shrimp on the side of um, each of my meals. So, and I feel like I low-key want to add like two more. Let me add like two more real quick. So, basically, I'm going to go ahead and start unthawing my like, two more. These are big shrimp, y'all. Look, <laughs> look how big the shrimp is. Huge. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start unthawing my um, salmon and my um, shrimp. So I got three pieces of chicken and two salmons. Now I'm not gonna lie, these are like salmon fillets and these are pretty thick. I low key feel like I can make this out of like four meals, but I'm just gonna do the two. But y'all see how thick they are like they pretty hefty so that's pretty good um because it says oh filet portions okay oh these are okay so i guess filet portions should be bigger i guess i don't know but yeah so i'm gonna do two salmons three chickens but all i gotta do with this i can actually pop this back in the freezer all i gotta do with this right here is put this in the oven and then I'm going to get some lemon for my um, salmon to cook. And I'm going to go ahead and add some water in here. Put a lid on this. And this is our first time food prepping the like dinner food. So, And I'm going to put a lid on here. And then also I think what I want to do. I'm thinking should I go ahead and put the salmon inside. Hold on y'all. I'm thinking if I should go ahead and put the salmon inside of this other one. And then, I don't know, maybe like put this in here. See, this one is quite large. <laughs> Wait. And then like put this one in here. I just want it to be um thawing out while I'm gone. So yeah. So yeah, the goal is is to have this all thawed out by the time. I come home tonight and yeah so the goal is to have all this thought out like the salmon the shrimp have that thought out the chicken is good because it's already pre-made you know, fully cooked so that's going to go in the oven so this is our just meats and like seafood or whatever and our sides will be like our asparagus our broccoli and maybe some Idaho um, smashed potatoes, some Idaho like um, potatoes. So I think that's gonna be like our little sides. This right here is just the meat. So we gotta cook the salmon, um, which I plan to actually grill that salmon to be honest. I think I wanna grill the salmon on probably three I think 
some an air fry the salmon because you guys know that I have the air fry option. I think I want to air fry the salmon on like maybe 375. I want you guys to comment and let me know what do you guys put your salmon on when you put it in the oven? Um, and like how do you guys cook your salmon? So yeah, I'm going to have this sit out and let this be ready when I come back home. These are the asparagus. And then this is the broccoli. So that's what I want to do for our vegetables. Okay, y'all. So we are actually in the bedroom. And y'all, I got a few packages I want to open today. Um, if you guys do not know, I had a, and I think it's still kind of active too, a housewarming gift list on Amazon. Um, and I want to basically open up a few gifts that you guys sent me. Um, we still have gifts. We have not opened. Again, I want to thank everybody who has ever bought me a gift for my new home. Um... But yeah, all these gifts were sent in 2023 um, when I had my gift list active. Like like I said, I think it's still on there, but yeah. So I wanted to open up a few packages with you guys. And then also, too, I think I want to... I want you guys to comment and let me know. Would you guys like for me to do like an Amazon home haul video? Or like, you know, just like an um, Amazon video where I am, you know, showing you guys stuff in the house that actually came from Amazon, like far as home items and stuff. Because y'all, we have a ton, and when I say a ton, we have a ton of items from Amazon that we got. And I just feel like it's worth, and it deserves its own dedicated video. So comment below if you guys would like to see that, like an Amazon home haul, must haves, etc. Well first, this package right here, I just ended up getting this today. I actually just ordered this for myself. Now, I know I have not told you guys, but I am attempting, okay, attempting, which I, I know I can do it, but I am attempting to cut out um, coffee. I want to stop um, drinking coffee, y'all. So, and you guys know, I swear I feel like something, something's missing here. You guys know that... Um, I have started to drink matcha last year. So I just ended up ordering this um, Japanese instant matcha from Amazon. Um, this is the sweetened matcha. Y'all, when I say this is so good, I literally, I start drinking this and I got addicted to it. Now, my whole point of not really drinking coffee is to cut out sugar. But I'm not going to lie. This is going to have sugar in it too. As you can see, it's already sweetened. But this only has... It says total sugars. Okay. So it says total sugars, four grams, and then includes four grams of added sugar. Now, let me just say this. My next one that I get, I'm going to make sure that it's unsweetened. Okay. Because I, th I think the unsweetened maybe has one gram of sugar. And also, um, you guys know that I put creamer in here too. So, y'all, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this and then I think I'm going to get the um, zero sugar creamer. And then... Yeah, I'm just trying to cut out sugar as much as possible this year. Um, even though fruit got sugar in it too, but that's just so that's just like another alternative way to eat. So I won't eat snacks basically. But yeah, I got this sweetened matcha, which I'm excited because had I had this this morning, I would have had it for breakfast. But I still need to get my oat milk for this, um, and I'm trying to go non dairy. But I still need to get my oat milk for this. Um, but if you guys want, um, I will link this below if you guys say that you want it in the comments um, and stuff like that. But yeah, you can have it um, hot, iced, mixed, shaken, or blended. And this is a six ounce bag. And it's by Machalicious. And they actually basically sell them on Amazon. So that's that. So let's go ahead and get into this gift bag this is so cute oh my goodness so somebody got me a gift bag also um the gift bags also have like these tags on it right here real cute so it should be a note right here oh it is this is cute 
So the note says, hello, Imani. I'm wishing you all the happiness in your new home. You work hard and you deserve it. Congratulations from Consuela Covington. So thank you, Miss Consuela Covington for the gift and the gift bag because it is so adorable. So let's see what's in here. And it comes with a tie. That's so cute. Okay. So then it has another. Okay. Okay. So this is another envelope. Okay. Same note. So this is actually the M Design Plastic Extra Wide Storage Container. So M Design is a brand, if you guys don't know, and they also carry stuff on Amazon. But I end up getting, well, I remember this because I put it on my list. I end up getting this um, container right here. And it's cute. This is how it looks. It's like a container where you can put teas at or just anything that you want coffees whatever and it is by m design really nice so thank you miss consuela for the um container because i got these specifically for my teas um and i think what i'm gonna do is i was thinking about putting this actually at the top because this actually do not fit in my drawer because y'all unfortunately well it may fit in my bigger drawer now that i think about it but i might put this in my bigger drawer and kind of organize it with some stuff so thank you miss lady for that okay it says enjoy your gift from jamie and harper miss jamie you have bought me so many gifts off that list you make me feel real special like you love me for real don't you okay y'all so it looks like it is some containers oh these are cute okay so it is actually some containers that i wanted i'm gonna take two of them out so, oh, it's a few of these. Okay, it's, it's actually a whole pack. Let me just take this pack. So, it's a whole pack of containers. It's drawer, or, it's drawer organizers, and this is how they look. They're drawer organizers, and they seem to come with, like, a lot of different sizes. So, I'm very excited for this. I'm actually going to use these for my... Um, I'm actually going to use this probably for my desk because, y'all, yeah, my desk is so unorganized. It's insane. So, these do. So, these are cute. So, they have a size that's like this. So, this is a size right here. Like a little cup. It's cute. And then they have another size that's like this. Like I said, y'all, we need to do like an Amazon home haul because, yeah then all these are the same okay uh -huh. so they got a few okay so they got a few of these ones and then okay then they got some more of those but then they also have these long ones oh that's perfect this is perfect it's crazy y'all because i was in target the other day and i started to grab some like this and it all Inside the dog spot. I'm so glad I didn't. Then they got the longer ones. These are perfect. These are perfect. These are perfect. Okay. Okay. And then also it looks like. And you can also put these inside of your um, kitchen drawers as well. They're just drawer organizers. So you can pretty much. Oh. Okay. And they also come with these stickers that you probably put at the bottom. Okay, real cute, real cute. And then last but not least, they got this size, which I'm really excited about. Is this cracked? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Girl, I was like, really? Y'all remember that time I had got them uh, curtains and they came ripped? I'm like, oh my God, Girl. Things are just too expensive to become a crack and ripped and damaged. But the last size is this size right here. Which is a really nice size. And the little stickers go on the bottom of these. I'm excited for these for sure because I'm about to organize up some stuff. I'm excited. 
thank you, Miss Janie. That's my girl. But yeah, so we got those. And then we got those. And then we got those. And we got some stickers. And it's actually some 3M tape stickers. So these are good stickers right here. So that's that. And then I got these right here. Here is our next one. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have here. Okay. Okay, y'all. So this says enjoy your gift with you. Let me see. It says enjoy your gift, wish you happiness, health, and wealth from Sandra Blast. Thank you, Miss Sandra. I know exactly who you are as well. Okay, so this is this is a two-pack fridge storage container for produce saver, stackable refrigerator organizer bins, fresh keeper container okay so this is how the box look and let me tell you i'm excited for this y'all because remember them vegetables i just showed y'all like the like the asparagus and the um broccoli i want to put those in here okay so this is how they look and they come with two, and it look like they are stackable as well. Okay. So these are stackable. This is how the lid looks. I got something else similar to this, but this is how the lid looks, and you can actually open and close it for freshness or whatever you want to do, depending on what you actually have in there. Yeah, we got to do an Amazon home haul. So we got a smaller one and a bigger one, and it looks like they also come with dividers oh the quality is so nice so these are dividers y'all when i say i had some nice little stuff on my little list i appreciate y'all buying my stuff that was on my list y'all so these well let me show you the inside here this is the inside of the big container and it has like a little water drainer right there real nice and then this goes at the bottom Okay, so that's that and then these organizers you can actually put in here let's see how do you put these let's see I want to say <laughs> what I will say about the dividers is that I wish that was a little more sturdier and I feel like that wasn't really straight to the point um it was a little difficult to put it in there, y'all. But anyways, um, this is how it looks with the dividers that I put in the middle. So it looked like, which I would have preferred one divider. I don't know why they got two, but it doesn't. Wait, is this supposed to clamp together? So this no. is actually how it looks with the divider inside of there. Really nice. Again, I just think the divider is a little difficult to put in but really nice to say the least now i want to put vegetables in here and like i said they do come with a smaller one as well this is the smaller one that, that they come with and then this is the lid these are i ain't gonna lie the quality is really nice like that's the small one that's the big one and they're supposed to be stackable, so this is how both of them actually look. So thank you, love, for the stackables. Um, I'm actually going to put my asparagus in here. And that is going to conclude everything that we end up um, opening today. Um, I'll probably try to open a few gifts and like vlogs and stuff like that. But right now the time is... 346 i'm gonna go ahead and probably put my asparagus and broccoli in here and then i'll catch you guys a little yeah, later real quick remember the containers i was selling y'all that we just got from one of my supporters 
what I want to do is I want to take a container, which is right here. And then we're going to put this in here like this. And we're going to put our, okay, come on. Don't have me cut y'all again. Like, which ones ain't trying to fit? Y'all should all be fitting. Can I be honest? I got to cut y'all shorter. No, I'm not cutting them any shorter because I like mine kind of long. Like, right? there y'all go. Okay, so this one we're going to put our asparagus in. And then the other one we're going to put our broccoli in. So I'm just going to cut these real quick so they can be short enough to fit in there. There you go. Looks pretty good. And then we got a little bit left. So one thing I like about these containers is that I can store my like produce and like vegetables and fruits and stuff. That's one thing I love about these containers. So I would highly recommend um, these containers, y'all. Perfect. That is perfection. Okay, so I don't, let's see here. So for the asparagus, I believe these stay closed. Like I said, they got these little um, vents on here, but I think the asparagus stay closed. So we just, ooh, like, can you like not even pretend like this is not aesthetic? Like how good did this look? I mean, this makes you want to be like, I'm about to go in the refrigerator, get some asparagus, you know, make a little meal with a little glass of wine. <laughs> Y'all, I love it. Okay. So now we got our other container. This is the big mama. Okay. So this is the big one. And we're going to put her in there. Now this is actually going to be for now this is actually going to be for our broccoli. Okay. So all this broccoli is actually going to fit in here. Ooh. Oh, these are so good. Oh, I am living for these right now. I am living. Oh, they're so good. Mmm. Can you imagine just having this in the refrigerator, especially when you're trying to eat healthy? This makes you want to be like, okay, girl, we're about to grab a little meal. Okay, so that's that. I don't need, the, I do not need the dividers right now. I feel like I may use the dividers one day, but only when I'm trying to really separate food. So. And this is how the broccoli looks. And also what I love is that they got like these little feet on them. Like how good is those? So I'm actually going to put these in a fridge. I'm actually going to put my broccoli right there. Put that right there. And then I think I'll put my asparagus next to them. Like that. And then this Parmesan cheese, I'll just put this at the top in the back. Okay. So, okay. Cucumbers, maybe these cucumbers up here. Just put them right there. Okay. This is actually how my refrigerator is looking right now, in case you guys were curious. Um, so we just kind of got like our vegetables right here, my grapes that's left over, our spinach, which spinach can go in these too. Yeah, okay. And then our halo oranges, we have some more avocados. Um, and I also put like my bacon and cheese in these little containers. That's our extra meat. These are our tomatoes, which can really go in like a container. Um, these are our cucumbers, my bread, our salads. 
these are our fruits which i need to eat one today which i don't eat them every day this is just like when i get like a sweet tooth or something i don't eat it every day um and that's how it's looking so far y'all um so far so good also um this is the smoothie that i was um drinking this morning so i'll show you guys that oh and these are tomatoes that i made my tomato toast with which is really good if you guys have never tried tomato toast with the onion and chaff cream cheese it's really good um, so yeah that's how everything is looking right now hey y'all so it is actually a new day and i'm actually at the mall right now and i'm basically trying to get my nails done but it's only like three people in this shop and the reason i came to the mall is because i wanted to grab something else for tonight but um after oh also too after we leave here i want to go to michael's and get some stuff um but i need to see like what's the wait time because i may have to go to the other location and see what they say because like i need my nails done now and i don't want to wait too long but i stopped and got some cookies i know i'm eating healthy so i just got like a little cookie or whatever um but yeah i still got the same nails from basically like christmas time so i need my new year's 2024 nails done so i just want to check in let y'all know it's the next day and what we're doing so i'll see y'all in a minute michaels and yeah it's so cold i'm pretty sure i might get sick again but um i did get my nails done real cute real cute but yeah we at michaels right now and i am so cold but yeah i was looking for some little grass for my pots that i got it's kind of beigey i like this color come on let me know what y'all think but they got other um but for some reason i don't want the green wanted something different um and i thought this color was cute um, and then i also got this but i don't know if this this color ain't really bad either but we got this one. I like that one. They got the regular green moss, but just not sure if that's what I really want. I feel like I want these. This is the color that I seen on Amazon. And then this is the regular mouse that 
to their purse. Mm -hmm. This is the regular moss that I had got um, last time. This is the preserved moss in a big bag. Oh, I'm not sure how much this is. But this is that green. But I'm like, I don't know if I care for that though. I feel like I really want to try something different this time. And that's why I was looking at this one. Like, I feel like, I feel like I like this. I think I want to get this right here. And then, we're just going to see how much both of them is. But yeah, yeah, we're going to see how much they are. Um, and pretty much take it from there. Um, yeah, so I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey, loves, and welcome to a brand new day, y'all. I don't know how many times it's been a new day, but I'm very excited, y'all, because today we are actually going to be getting, or we actually have some new pots that I was telling you guys about. Now, I know a lot of people was like, girl, put some plants in a pot, put the plants in a pot, it's so small. Girl, I get it. But I'm going to tell you something, y'all. One thing I have noticed and, like, I've learned about, like, decorating and stuff is to not ever be in a rush to decorate your space. Especially for, like, somebody who's very particular about pieces in a space like me. Um, y'all, I am not in a rush to decorate this house. Y'all know my mind is constantly changing and my style is constantly evolving. So, y'all, I never be in a rush to actually decorate the house. I like for my house to be exactly the way that I want it to be. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the kind of grass that I got yesterday. So this actually came from Michael's. You guys know we had went to Michael's yesterday and this is what I found. So this is the color that I found. Um, I did not want green. I wanted this color. I don't know what it is about this color, y'all, but I like the, um, color. Um, this is a moss and it's in like a, kind of like a dried up kind of green i want you guys to comment and let me know like it's kind of like a cream color but i just thought it was really cute and i thought it would match um perfectly so i love this um so i did go ahead and get two of these bags right here and we actually got these from michael's and they actually retail for i want to say 9.99 so those end up coming from michael's so we got two bags of those because we got two different pots that i want to show you guys okay y'all so the pots that we have are actually these pots right here these are what i end up going with this i want to say it's a 14 inch round um pot maybe even a 13 um you guys aren't these so cute and they also have the drain holes at the bottom these did come from target and they're actually by threshold and y'all these are like a matte cream color you would have thought it was like a real stone but it's actually not it just looks that way but y'all look how gorgeous this is it's tall enough i think it's big enough it's grand enough and i think these are gonna be perfect for um the space now i did look for the black ones at first they didn't have them but then again i was like they don't have to necessarily be black um i feel like we have enough black in the house anyway but i was looking for the black pots at first because i was like oh the black could be cute but then again it's like this is really nice i think this is really nice for the spring as well um so i got two of these oh and this is how the inside looks and it's like a matte cream color they almost kind of match my wall but they might be like a little darker but as you guys can see they like <laughs> They almost match the wall <laughs> but anyways we have two of these okay and they actually came from target now these did um retail for i think 16 no i think 15 dollars um and they are by the brand threshold i actually got these all the way from the plant section um i think the plant section actually has more of a selection in the plant section so i did get this in the plant section so glad i did they also carry this in a brown color so if you guys do want these just let me know and i'll link them down below but these are really really nice and i love the color so this is actually what we are going to be doing today um so we're going to go ahead and start potting these um with our little grass um i know the grass is kind of different but we're gonna see how it look i think i think it'd be cute but yeah i think that's everything um i want to show you guys 
Now let's go ahead and um, pot these and I'm gonna show you my trees. So let's get started. This is actually my tree. This is actually how tall it is. This is, I believe a ficus tree. Um, and it did come from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think these are so, so nice. Um, but I do want to actually put a pot in them. Um, I do want to, yeah, I want a pot to go in them. So, well, it to go in a pot. But I want to show you guys how it looks. Well, first, okay, so that's the tree. Let's go ahead and pot these real quick. And like I said, this is the color. But anyways, I went ahead and put about six or seven bags in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plant, put my plant inside there first. And then what I'm going to do is put my bags. I feel like I want to fill some bags on the side of the plant too. Just to give it like a tighter look. I mean a tighter fit. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do first. I'm going to put that right there. And actually... I may can go ahead and just put it, yeah, because this, this is a lot. This is, ooh, wee. Okay, this is going to get messy. This is going to get messy, okay. Oh, this is messy. Oh, my God, this is so messy. Wait, that is so messy. But it looks good so far, though, so. Okay. So, what I did, instead of, like, because I thought I was going to put it over. Let's see. Now I'm thinking, like, do I want a little bit hanging out? No, not really. That's kind of tacky. But so far, let me just make sure y'all can see. So far, um, this is how she looks right now. Okay. And I think that is really cute. Oh my goodness. We love it here. Okay, so I think I'll just add a little more. Just to kind of, I don't know. I feel like I want it a little full, but it's like, how much fuller can you get it, girl? I don't really want it to spill over, but if it did spill over just like a little bit, I don't mind it. So, because I feel like it's kind of like that messy look anyway. I think that's what kind of makes it look kind of nice. Or, I don't know, natural. See, I feel like with this moss, I think it's moss, I feel like it just looks, it gives it like a different look. And they don't look like all the same moss that's out there. I feel like everybody get the same stuff, the green. I'm like, nah, I want to try something a little different. Like, let's be different. Okay, so yeah, I just kind of want to put that there. Like I said, if a little bit like kind of comes out. To me, it just gives it more like a natural look. It kind of like a little burst, and that's a little bit. But I like it because it's kind of giving like an outside vibe, but can still be inside the house. Comment, let me know what you guys think. But, oh wow. So, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Good thing it's not sticking to my outfit, but this is how it actually turned out. I think it looks gorgeous. Um, Probably add a little bit more on this side. Right here. Just add a little bit more. And I think that's perfect. And if you guys don't know, if you just put trash bags up under here, it'll actually bring the height up. You guys see how low it was, so yeah. So, okay. And we got this much left. <laughs> Oh my God, this is met. Oh my gosh. Y'all, wait a minute. Oh, this is messy. Oh, wait. What I will say about this kind though, y'all, because look at this. Look at all this. This is just loose pieces, girl. 
what I will say about this kind of um moss is that it's probably a lot well I think all of it is messy but I think this kind in particular just it's almost like hair or like spaghetti noodles like it's like a ton of like small spaghetti noodles I want you guys to comment and let me know have you guys ever used this moss for your trees to plant them whether if they're outside trees or inside trees have you guys um actually used this before so this is the first one i think she looks pretty good okay y'all so I'm just getting all this stuff up and I'm actually about to sweep over here y'all because it's a mess. It is a mess. But I think the pots look really nice. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think. And I also think this color looks good right here. So comment let me know what y'all think. What I'm about to sweep this stuff up yeah, because y'all know I'm OCD. I can't have nothing on my floor, nothing out of place. <laughs> like let me clean this up right now from a crazy. Okay, y'all, so I got this other update right here. I got this um, candle right here that I had got from Ross. I think it's so cute. And basically, I set it right here and I put these three candles right here in the back. And I just thought it was a cute little vibe. Why don't you guys comment and let me know. But I actually have this on my TV stand um, and stuff like that. So I just wanted to show y'all that. It's like a little update we have in here. So, yeah, I thought it was cute. Okay, y'all, so real quick, I wanted to show you guys how the pot ended up turning out with the tree. I just think the tree and the pot goes really good together, especially with it being like this cream color and um, having just like the green tree. I think it's really cute. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think. And then we have the other one inside of here, which is by the window inside of my dining room. So that's how this one is looking. Super, super cute. I just love this color. Like I said, I think the color is really nice. And I think it actually goes really cute for the spring that we got coming up to as well. So comment, let me know you guys' thoughts. Okay, love. So that is actually going to conclude this whole entire vlog. I hope you guys all enjoyed as always. I want you guys to comment and let me know which part was your favorite. What do you guys think about the new pots for the plants that we got in the house? Also, what do you guys think about the updated decor? Um, also, I want to um, do other content, like other videos. Um, comment below if you guys would like for me to start a series on um, just like my home journey and, um, you know, start a YouTube channel, stuff like that. Would you guys like to like see like YouTube related videos as far as having a platform, subscribers, monetization, etc. I want you guys to comment and let me know would you guys like for me to start a series on that. If you guys have not checked out my last video on how I had um, became an influencer full time and quit my 9 to 5 and bought my first home with just using my YouTube revenue. I suggest you guys go over there and check that video out and I want you guys to comment and let me know should I do more related videos like that. Also, let me know, are you guys still loving the vlogs? And also about the food prepping um, containers, stuff like that, and the Amazon haul. Let me know if you guys want me to kind of like do that as well. Um, I think that's actually going to conclude um, today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. 
I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.